Hi guys, welcome. This is your girl Nubian Princess. So today I am doing a makeup review. <clears throat> I just got two products in the mail. So I'm going to do a review on the Morph foundation. Can you see it? Okay. And so I got two shades. I have Filter Deep 33 and Filter Rich 28. I wasn't sure which one was going to fit me because I have a weird undertone. Even though I'm dark skinned, my skin has a golden undertone. So I didn't know which one was going to fit me. So I got these two. I'm going to put the link to the foundation on this website. Sorry, my dog just came in here. That's why my door is open. So this is the filter 33. This one is really dark, right? You can't really see what it looks like in the bottle. So I got this this color just so I can mix it. And then this one is, this is the filter 28. So we'll see what this looks like. So I'm going to do a, um, a skin test. As far as the shade goes, you want to make sure you get um, foundation that matches your chest, you know. Uh, usually your face is darker than your body, so I'm going to go with my chest area. So I'll be back to show you what the shade looks like, okay? The first shade that I'm going to test out is the Filter Rich 28. That is the one that's supposed to be, supposed to be my skin tone. All right. So I'm going to put it on here, just a little bit, and then I'm going to put it on my skin so I'm going to get closer. So here's that one, okay, and then let's try out the other one. Don't worry guys, I'm going to zoom in on this for you. This other one is really dark, so this other one is Filter Deep 33. And so, here's what this one looks like. So these are the two shades right here. So, I'm going to zoom the camera closer so that way you can see it. So these are the two shades. So this one has like a golden undertone. That's why I went with that one. And then this one, it's darker. So if you blend this one out... It should, we're going to go with this one, okay? We're going to use that one. And then I'm going to mix a drop of that one. Because I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be too, um, too light. Alright guys, so here's what the first coat looks like mm. it feels like it's really lightweight um, but it is not full coverage because I can still see the spots under my neck so I don't know if I should go in with another I don't know if I should go in with another coat let me just do a little just a little bit more so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to do, so I'm definitely having to mix both these together because if I don't, I am going to, oh, is this the right, is this my foundation brush? I need to wash this. <laughs> I haven't washed it in a while. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm patting it so that way I can get more coverage Under my chin is my problem areas. So This foundation covers most of your flaws, but It's not that's not full coverage. It's for people that don't have skin problems that can throw on makeup and want it to be lightweight This is a perfect makeup for you so I think it matches my, I think it matches my, um, might be just a little, just, I don't know, 
my skin is weird so it is what it is all right i just want to make sure i use all the product and not waste anything so i think i'm good with the coverage i feel more comfortable with my neck so Alrighty guys, so I'm done with that. The next thing I'm going to do is my concealer. So I'm doing the concealer now. This is my chestnut. Born This Way concealer. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is put on my um, setting powder. This is Fenty in the shade Honey. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contour. So I'm, I always put it above my cheeks. So right here, and then right here, and then side of my jaw to conceal my fat face, and then up here. That's it. Then you wanna go in and blend it. So I got my makeup blended. So the next thing I'm gonna do is remove the setting powder. And when I remove the setting powder, I am going to get my MAC blot powder. And I'm going to put it in the areas where, you know, I need to put it. I'm going to use my Morph. I got a new shade. The Morph um, Finishing Powder. Now my old, not old, but the shade that I had before was um, Filter 13. And it's perfect. It's nice. But I wanted to, I wanted to try, I wanted to try, so I wanted to try Filter 11. So this is what Filter 13 looks like. It's almost like a reddish color and this is what filter 11 looks like see the difference so I want to try this one let me see what that one looks like so that's what we got going on so I'm gonna use that just a little bit it goes a long way I'm gonna use it in the areas that I did not use um, setting powder It's coming together. It's coming together. So I use Fenty Coco Naughty. My sister bought me a new one. I think I said that last video. So I need to I need to go and make sure I still have it. So I am getting the size of my face because they're fat. And I am so br bronzing, right? Just brings some warmth, it just brings warmth and life back to your skin. You know, before when you apply foundation, it's like a flat surface. Bronzer, I feel like bronzer just kind of makes it uh, more 3D <laughs> to tell you the truth. That's what I feel like it does. So I got that, and then another bronzer that I like to use is. Juvia's Palace. This is the deep dark. Just use a little bit. Just a little bit, guys. Just a little goes a long way. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too much. Just a little goes a long way. Okay? Just a little bit goes a long way. Why am I whispering? I don't know. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> but I'm whispering. Okay, so I don't know if I want to use the dark one. I'm just going to use a splash just a splash just a just a splash just a splash just a splash 
You don't want it to be too dark. You don't want to look crazy. You don't want to look crazy. Okay. So, I got that done. So, the next thing that I want to do is... Um, oh, yeah. Let me put this on. This is the Mocha Mommy by Fenty. This is like a reddish bronzer. I feel like it just brings the whole look together. Okay, and then I'm going to spray my face. Whew. Okay, I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. Sorry about that. So, um, I have my makeup done, but I need to put on mascara, and then I also need to put on, um, what do you call it? <sighs> I'm really liking how this makeup looks. Like, ah, look at, look at it. Okay, so I really need to put on mascara and a lipstick. So let's do the lipstick first. I'm going to try this. Ooh, y'all, this is a, it's a beauty supply black makeup or black lipstick. I've had this for years. Let me clean. I want to make sure there's no mold in here. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, I'm scared. I haven't done black before. Should I put on a liner? No, I'm not going to do a liner. So let me do my eyebrows real quick. My eyebrows are nothing special, so don't judge me. I don't have eyebrows. I had my eyebrows shaded a couple years ago, so I don't have any eyebrows. And I still have the shading. So I just put a little bit of pencil just to darken it. So I'm going to do my mascara. Oh, this video. I don't want this video to be too long. I'm going to fast forward through most of this video. Probably, I might do a voiceover. So we'll see. This is called Essence Lash Princess. And there's different kinds. And I got the false lash effect. You see the difference? You see how it makes my eyelashes pop? Yes, sir. This is the best I'm going to do because I'm just not in the mood to do too much. So guys, I am done. I am done with my makeup. So this is the final product. Hopefully you can see it. This is the final product. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Does it match my my uh, chest? Does it match my chest? Does it match my chest? Does it match my chest? Okay. All right, guys. So I wanted to say thank you guys for watching um, this makeup tutorial. I need to change this table to this direction because this lighting is spectacular. It is awesome. So today's makeup review was on the morph foundation it says fill filter effect soft focus foundation medium to full coverage yeah it's not full coverage but it is medium because i had to apply a little bit more under my chin to cover the spots under my chin 
So I got two shades that I mix. I mix the filter 28 and the filter 33. The filter 33 is dark. The filter 28 is lighter. And I mixed it to try to get the right shade. And then I used my finishing powder. This one by Morph. So Morph. You guys are doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. You're doing pretty good. Okay, so how long is this foundation supposed to last? I don't know. Does it say anything? Let me see. I'm trying to see if it says how long it's supposed to last. It says it's long wearing, oil free, natural finish foundation, hydrates skin, blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft look do i have a soft look guys do i have a soft look do i have a soft look okay guys all right well it doesn't tell me how long it's supposed to last but we'll see i'm gonna have it on and then i'll let you know how it goes i'll give you the updated review on the foundation but for now this is what it looks like so hopefully you guys like it um please feel free to subscribe like and um comments under my videos so thank you guys bye